What's up guys? I'm DK Wrestler and I'm MD Shady and in today's video we are opening over 130 Funko Soda figures. So let's check it out. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Where's the notification bell? It's to the right of you. Oh. All right, so like we said today, we are opening up over 130 Funko Soda figures, which originally we thought we had exactly 130 Funko Sodas, but with extra counting in the certain categories we put these sodas in, we had more. So instead of taking them out, we're gonna include them into this video and there's just gonna be more sodas in certain categories. And we put them into categories because of the fact that there is such thing now as the North American and the International can. That way we can't do the like piece counts and start off with the highest and then go to the lowest. Like the last one we did where we opened up 50 Funko Sodas now, now it's over 100 Funko Sodas, 130. Funko Sodas, I should say, and we have a ton here. We'll show you guys right now a kind of bird's eye view of what we had piled up as terms of these Funko Sodas. There is a lot going on. This is going to be a crazy video we've been planning for over a year now. So without further ado, we will kick off with the very first category that we set with 10 Funko Sodas, and that is at Icons and Retro Toys. So we're going to list off the Funko Soda figures that we have here. First off, we got ourselves Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 10,000 pieces, and the chase, I believe, is a different color variant plus a different weapon, because I believe it's the hockey stick in the common, and it's a bat in the yeah. chase. Baxter Stockman, also from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, limited to 5,000 pieces. It's the international can, and I believe the chase is glow in the dark, but it's going to be easy to figure out that one because of the fact that it's actually, like, green all the way around. Mr. Monopoly Man, for the Retro Toys lineup, we got two cans, actually limited to 10,000 pieces and the chase I believe is green and it's glitter to kind of give like a money effect I believe it is. Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms, one of my favorite cereals of all time from the Ad Icons lineup, limited to 14,500 pieces and the chase I believe is holding the bowl of cereal instead of the uh, like heart and the spoon that he's holding in his hand there. And we do have two cans but it's not Fruit Loops. Two Masters of the Universe Funko Soda figures both being the 2021 Spring convention exclusives, one being Man at Arms limited to 7,500 pieces in which the Chase version is a snake variant. And then we have ourselves the Cobra Khan, obviously once again, 7,500 pieces. And the Chase version for this, I believe, is like the fins up for the ears. I don't exactly know what to call it. Next up, we have ourselves the Pan Am Stewardess, limited to 10,000 pieces. And the Chase version, I believe, is like brunette hair brunette and not hair, yeah. blonde. Yeah. And then last but not least, we have ourselves the Specialty Series Exclusive Energizer Bunny, limited to 18,000 pieces. A weird piece count for a Funko Soda, but it is what it is. And I believe the Chase version is all silver. Okay, so the first ones we're gonna open up, I'm gonna open up the Pan Am Stewardess Funko Soda, and he is gonna open up the Energizer yeah. Bunny. We're ready? Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking, finally. Over a year that we have been waiting to open up. I don't know if the sticker's on the outside of that specific oh, true. can. Yeah, you better watch out. Okay, now I got the sticker on the can itself and she's open. There we go. Get that lid on. And shaky roof for good luck, for but shake. I'm not gonna Click shake together. too much. Cheers. Da -na, da -na, da -na. All right, you ready? Yep. Go. And it's, okay, they're both the common figures. So we'll get the 360 rotating spins. We'll look at the Energizer Bunny first, which looks really cool. Yeah, um, this is sweet. That's such an interesting soda. I mean, so much different than any other soda we've ever seen, in my opinion. We got the Pan Am Stewardess also, and this is not too bad. It looks better than I thought it was going to look. Yeah, it, it really does. So the Pan Am Stewardess, we got the cog right there. There's the front, and then on the back, it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. And the Energizer Bunny has the white background, obviously because it's a common. And then we have it one out of 15,000 pieces. Next up is Masters of the Universe. I got Man at Arms, MD has uh, Cobra Khan, and I realized with these ones, they do have the stickers, stickers on the, on the outside. outside. Yeah. All right, let's take these out of the can. Boom, not even look at, oh, I thought the pog was falling right out. A little bit shaky rear for good luck. One, two, three, go! Oh, this is common. Mine's common uh, as well, but dang, I don't think I've actually seen this in person. This is sweet. All right, Cobra Khan, you guys are looking out on the 360 rotating spinner right now. 
pretty sweet. Haven't really even looked at one in person. And the Man at Arms, we actually opened a couple in the last soda video we had done with 50. So I was really hoping we would see the snake face this time, but it is what it is. So we got the Man at Arms Pog. There's the front right there. And then the back, it is limited to one out of 6,250 pieces, while the Cobra Con is also limited to 6,250 pieces. All right, next up is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got Baxter Stockman. MD Shady has Casey Jones. Three, two, one. This is the common. And this is also the common. Okay. <laughs> this head looks huge. Jeez. Oh, Lee. And oh, geez. Okay, so yeah, this Baxter Stockman is uh, missing an arm. Missing an arm. Oh, missing is it an arm. Is it supposed to miss an arm? Yeah, it's supposed to. No, it's not supposed to miss an arm. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. I'm missing a bag. You is guys will see in the 360 there? rotating spinner of Baxter Stockman where he is missing an arm right now. So because it's the international can for Baxter Stockman, you'll see that it's the colored background, but it is limited to one out of 4,200 pieces. And what do you got for Casey Jones there? For Casey Jones, it's one out of 8,400. And I also want to mention that this is definitely like off cut. You see how not centered that writing is? Yeah. Alrighty, Mr. Monopoly Man is next. Not looking at the pog right there. Shaky roof for good luck. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Common. common. Still cool though. I like the common much better than the chase. Yeah. It would have been cool to see a common, but this is really awesome. You'll see the 360 rotating spin of the figure. And obviously I'll take out the pog. It's got the white background for it for the picture. And then on the back, it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. Okay, come on, baby. Lucky the Leprechaun, the last one for this section of Funko Soda figures being at Icons and Retro Toys. And I've been excited for this one. Will one of us get the marshmallow and the other get the bowl of cereal? We Let's don't know. So. Let's shake it for good luck. Three, two, one, boom. Bowl of cereal, baby! <laughs> Let's go! I think that's the first chase we pulled in that's, this entire video. That is. Yes, 50-50. We got it. Lucky the left crumble. We'll drop the common first. Holding the marshmallow, which is pretty decent. And then the chase. He's holding the bowl of cereal, which is cool. That to end off the Ad Icons retro toy section, we got ourselves the chase. So for the common pog, it is out of one in 12,100, which is an interesting number for a common, but yeah, just the common. And then for the chase version, I really like the orange background. And then on the back, you found the chase, Lucky with Cereal Bowl, limited to one out of 2,400 pieces. So the next category is just simply a miscellaneous category that we couldn't really put these through. So first off, we got ourselves Devo for the Rocks lineup, limited to 8,000 pieces, and I believe the chase is Glow in the Dark. Roger Ramjet, limited to 4,500 pieces. It's the international can, and I believe the chase version for this can is black and white. Crash Bandicoot, which is a soda that I really enjoy and I really want to get the common because we got multiple chases the last time. Limited to 12,500 pieces and the chase version is the gold skin variant. And then I have the Paul Frank Sock Monkey which is limited to 8,500. The common is the blue and then the chase is the orange figure. I have the Yogi Bear which is limited to 6,000 pieces. The common is with the picnic basket and then the chase is with just the pointer finger up. I think it's the pointer finger but it's also flat. Locked. Oh, and it's flocked. Yeah. That's awesome. Then next up, I have Master Chief, which is limited to 10,000 pieces. The common is just him with the assault rifle, and then the chase is... All black. All black. And then last but not least, because we have four of these soda cans, my boy Stone Cold Steve Austin from WWE, limited to 10,000 pieces being the international can, originally in North America being a GameStop exclusive, but it's technically a common here. And the chase version for Stone Cold is him with the Smoke and Skull title belt. So hopefully we get at least one, maybe two. So that way we both get a common and a chase since we have four. So I'm going to start off with Devo and you're going to start off with Sock Monkey. Okay. Alrighty. Boom. Let's take this out. Take the figure out. Once again, shaky root for good luck. Three, two, one. Boom. Common. All right, so common. I'm feeling that. Yeah, it doesn't. That's looking common. It's to me. looking very common ish. So, uh, 360 rotating spinners. We'll look at Devo first. Not too bad, but I mean, it is what it is. And yet, this is officially the common. Uh, limited to one out of 6,700 pieces. 
And then you got the sock monkey there, all nice and blue. And I do like the way the pog looks. Actually. Yeah, I actually really do enjoy this pog. And the sock monkey is limited to one out of 7,100 for the common. Next up, I'm going to open up Roger Ramjet and MD. You're opening up Yogi Bear. All right, so let's open this up. Three, two, one, common. common. All right, yeah. we both got the common. We'll show off, obviously, Roger Ramjet first, which is not too bad. A real, wow, that's a really puffed out chest for a character <laughs> like that. That's pretty crazy. Yogi Bear looking also really cool with the picnic basket there also. And then, uh, yeah, as terms to the pog, the blue background, because it's an international can for Roger Ramjet, and it's limited to one out of 3,750 pieces. And then the common pog for Yogi Bear has the orange background because again, it is an international can and he is limited to one out of 5,000 pieces. Next up, I'm opening up Crash Bandicoot and you're opening up Master Chief. So let's do this. Let's shake it up. Three, two, one. Yeah, chase. I got the chase. Oh, you got the chase. <laughs> yeah, the chase. you got the chase. That's but cool. I am glad that I got the common because if I had another chase, like I wouldn't be disappointed, but I I want a common though, because obviously the skin looks awesome here. And then we'll look at the pog, or actually we'll look at the Master Chief, all black there, which is pretty decent for the chase. And then we got ourselves obviously the pog here for Crash Bandicoot, the front there, and then the back, it is one out of 10,500 pieces. So then for the pog for the chase, Master Chief, he has the green background and it says, you found the chase, black metallic Master Chief, one out of 1,600 pieces. We got ourselves now four Stone Cold Steve Austin Funko Sodas. Do we do them like Stone Cold and like bam? <laughs> do a little boom and then shake a room. There we go. Da, 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 da. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, okay, <laughs> the fist is out. It is not the chase figure. It is the common, which obviously 360 rotating spinner of what the common looks like, which is obviously still pretty cool. And for the pog, and it's because it's international, we got the cool blue background. And then on the back, it does say Stone Cold Steve Austin limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, our last set of Stone Cold Steve Austin sodas. And I mean, could both of these be the chase? That could they be calm? Yeah, I hope so. Could All right, really yep. Da -da 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 -da. Three, two, one. Common. common. <laughs> oh, I, I was going to say Chase. <laughs> so the next category of Funko Sodas we're going to open up, we call it Classic Disney. So you want to talk about the sodas that we got going on here? Sure. So the first soda that I have is the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, limited to 15,000 pieces, where the common is Mickey just with his hands out doing some magic. And then the chase, he has the water buckets in his hand. The second soda figure we have here is Pete, and he is limited to 9,000 pieces. The common, he has his arms crossed with the hat on. And then the chase, he has his mouth open, no hat on his head, and he's kind of like more in a scary pose. The next can we have is Prince John limited to 5,000 pieces. The common is just simply Prince John kind of smiling. And then the chase, he has the hypnotized eyes as well as his robe is then blue. We have a D23 exclusive Phil Her Magic Mickey Mouse limited to 12,500 pieces in which the chase version is a little bit more of a bluish color and it is diamond collection glitter. And then we also have Steamboat Mickey, which normally is a Funko Shop exclusive if this was the North American can, but it's the international one limited to 10,000 pieces. And the chase version, I believe, is Steamboat Mickey whistling. And then lastly, for the main event of this category, we have the Hot Topic exclusive Winnie the Pooh, limited to 10,000 pieces, and the chase is flocked. All right, so the first one I'm gonna open is Phil Horn Magic Mickey Mouse, because I really wanna see the chase if this is possibly it. Yeah, that's a cool soda, and I have the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, because I love this version of Mickey. Oh God, I hate when that happens. Oh. There we go, I didn't see the pod, we're good. Oh, okay, still partially open. Three, two, one, boom, and this is the common. I also have the common, but let's look at these together. Awesome. All right, so we're looking at obviously Phil Her Magic Mickey on the 360 rotating spinner. Looks pretty sweet with the wand. Was really hoping that was gonna be the Diamond Collection Chase, but it's not. But we got the Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey, which also looks really cool in person. I think it's the exact same hat that we're wearing as it the is. Phil Her Magic Mickey. 
And then you got the red attire, which is pretty cool. We got the Pog for Philhar Magic Mickey with a nice blue background, and it's limited to one out of 10,500 pieces. And then for the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, because it is not an international can, it is the white background for the common, and it is limited to one in 12,500. And now we're going for the duplicate cans. So we got each a peat soda here. So let's see if one is very angry. Three, two, one, boom! Common. Too common. Okay. Damn, look at how big this soda is. Yeah, holy <laughs> crap. He is massive. Okay. So that is the common Pete figure. Still really cool. Would have been cool to see a chase also. The front of the Pog is white. It's not an international can, which it's understandable for the white background, but the limited piece count is one out of 7,500 for the common. Next up, we have ourselves Prince John. MD's really hoping for the chase. He's actually opened multiple cans of this, I believe. Off yeah. camera, do that. Three, two, one, boom, common. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so there is the common figure. You'll see it on the 360 rotating spinner. Got a cool background for the Pog, obviously, because it's an international can and it is limited of one out of 4,200 pieces. All right, Steamboat Mickey. I've been really excited about this. Yeah. Even though I'm not too, like, into Mickey Mouse, there's something about Steamboat Mickey that I've always loved the design for. All right. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom, and it's common. Too common. Ah, okay. So there's the common. Still a pretty cool looking Funko Soda. Like, I mean, there's not really much of a difference, so I'm not too disappointed that we did not get the chase, but it still would have been cool. It's one out of 8,400 pieces for the Pog. All right, so the last can we got for classic Disney, Winnie the Pooh, Hot Topic exclusive. Not sure if the sticker is on the film it's wrap. inside. Oh, good. And shake it up. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, a chase! Yes! We Let's got go. a chase! Let's go! All right, we'll show off the common one first, which is still pretty cool. You still got that cool colorway for the common, but it is more orangey for the chase, which is always really cool. I really enjoy that when it comes with flocking, where it's like a little bit of a darker color, but it still looks gorgeous. We'll show off the pog for the common one first. We got the white background because obviously it is a North American can and it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. And then we have the chase pog, which has the red background, which looks sweet. And it says, you found the chase flocked Winnie the Pooh at one in 1,600 pieces. So the next category we have is movies. And it's kind of like, I guess our favorite movies, I yeah. guess how we did this. So first off, we got Ghostbusters for my section we got the Peter Venkman. So this is limited to 12,500 pieces and the chase is slimed. Then I have the Egon Spangler, which is limited to 10,000 pieces and the chase is also slimed. And then to keep going with the Ghostbusters, I have the Vince Clortho and it is limited to 12,500 pieces and the chase is the Demon Dog. Now going into Star Wars, the can I have is an international can of Luke Skywalker limited to 8,000 pieces and the chase version is his hand cut off. Next up we have an international can of the Stormtrooper which is limited to 6,000 pieces and the chase is metallic. It's my favorite Star Wars character of all time, Darth Vader in an international can limited to 10,000 pieces and the chase is glow in the dark for the lightsaber. Then we have an international can of the common Boba Fett which is limited to 8,000 pieces where the chase is the white prototype. Keeping the theme of Boba Fett, I have the 2022 Galactic Convention exclusive retro comic Boba Fett, limited to 10,000 pieces being the international can, and the chase version, I believe, is glow in the dark. And then lastly, we each have a can of Gizmo from one of my favorite movies ever, Gremlins, and this is limited to 10,000 pieces, where the chase is the 3D glasses as well as flocked. So we might as well kick off Ghostbusters members? Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call for a chase figure? Three, two, one, boom! And it's common. Too common. Oh, I thought oh, I- This was sweet though. Yeah. Both of them together. We'll look at Peter Venkman first. It is limited to one out of 10,500 pieces and the pogs are white for the background. And then looking at Egon Spangler, white background again, and he is limited to 8,400 pieces. All right, you got Vince Clortho. I got Luke Skywalker to kick off Star Wars and you're ending off Ghostbusters. Boom. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I gotta be careful with that because I forgot that the Star Wars sodas are bobbleheads, and I almost yeah. pulled the head right off of its socket. And boom! Okay, this uh, is a common. That is also, also common. The common. But this has so much detail. This is awesome. All right, yeah, looking at Vince Clortho first because, wow, a lot of detail, especially with the slice of za that he's holding. Pizza? I can dig a slice. And what's in it? Is that a popcorn bowl? I, I don't remember. I believe it's a popcorn bowl, yes. Okay, and the pod that we got, it's a white background since it's not the international can, and it's limited to one out of 10,500 pieces. And then looking at the Luke Skywalker soda, not a bad soda. I prefer kind of the common over the chase, even though obviously the chase is from an iconic moment, but at the same time, it's like you're getting less with your chase, I guess. The pog right here, it's got a nice background since it's the international can. Luke Skywalker, limited to one out of 6,700. Stormtrooper, Darth Vader. Star Wars soda, three, two, one. Boom. Okay, so I can't really figure. You That's looks common. like a common. Yeah. It looks like a common for the stormtrooper right there. It doesn't look very metallic-y. Mine will look at a 360 rotating spin. Partial bent lightsaber, unfortunately, but it is what it is, especially when I was trying to open it the way I was. Looks really cool in person. So I'm gonna have to look at the pog now. Uh, we'll look at your pog first. We'll build the anticipation. Yeah, my pog is the gray background, which is cool for the international can, and it is limited to one in 5,000 pieces. And mine is the regular Darth Vader with the red background for the Pog, which I'm still fine with, obviously, the common. Would have been cool for the chase for this one. Limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, Boba Fett time. Here we go, shaky roo for good luck. Three, two, one, boom. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, we got the chase for the prototype, but we'll show off the figure that I have here, the convention one, still looking cool. If it is, I don't know what it is, but this feels like it could be the glow in the dark chase. We might have two chases wow. on our hands. It kind of does look that way. Let's let's rip into that, and then as I'm talking about the prototype, this is sweet and awesome one to open up. And Lee, if you are watching this video, uh Sorry, buddy, but this is a sweet figure. Let's check out the pog for yours. I want to build up the anticipation. Yeah, let's, if I let's ended go up ahead and do that. The chase. So, of mine. course, we do have the white background with the white figure, which looks so cool that way. And then it says, you found the chase. White armor, Boba Fett, one in 1,300 pieces. All right, and did I get the chase? Yeah, it's the chase for a convention soda. Let's go. All right, we got a nice like white oh, and green yeah. background with this Boba Fett. And then you found the chase, Boba Fett, glow in the dark, one out of 1600 pieces. And the last for this movie section is Gizmo from Gremlins. Let's get that shake roof for good luck. Boom, three, two, one, boom. All two right, comments. two comments. It looks so weird the way they put the white, it's like, yeah, it was it's, dipped it's, in snow it's and then... like a faded like gradient there, yeah. All right, but uh, still looks really cool awesome. in person. Yeah, I can't I can't hate on it. One of my favorite movies and one of my favorite things to collect, so this is sweet. And then for the pog, it's got a nice white background. And then for the piece count, it is Gizmo, one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, so the next set of 10 Funko sodas, we're calling this section holiday because most of this is related to the holidays so we might as well kick off you want to show off these sodas yeah sure so the first soda that i have is the vampire jack limited to 15,000 pieces and the chase is glow in the dark i think it's glow in the dark as well as a different facial expression continuing on the theme of nightmare before christmas we have the original jack skellington soda limited to 20,000 pieces and i believe for the chase it's also a facial expression, but there's also a different posing involved. Next up, we have the Heat Miser from A Year Without Santa Claus, and it is limited to 10,000 pieces, where the chase is a glitter chase. And also from The Year Without Santa Claus, we have the Snow Miser, limited to 10,000 pieces, and the chase is also Diamond Collection Glitter. Next up, we have an international can, which is limited to 6,000 pieces of Bumble from Rudolph, where the chase is glitter. Continuing on with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, we have an international can of Hermie, which is limited to 5,000 pieces, and I believe the chase is him holding a the, book. The dental book, yes. He's holding the dental book. Also continuing with the theme of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, we have Yukon Cornelius, which is limited to 8,000 pieces, and the chase for this one, he has the icicles on his mustache as well as like snow on his beard. And last but not least, for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, it's obviously Rudolph himself, limited to 15,000 pieces, and the chase is blocked. And then the final can for this section for me, 
Chili Willy limited to 10,000 pieces, and the chase is all like translucent blue for the icy effect. And the last can that I'm gonna be opening up is the Pumpkin King Jack, a 2021 fall convention exclusive can, international can to be specific with 10,000 pieces. And the chase version is glow in the dark, but it also has bits of fire. So let's open up the Jack Skellington, the regular ones, I guess, first, before we obviously open up that convention exclusive. Give the shaky roo right there. Three, two, one, boom. And mine oh, looks like a common. Mine looks like it might have the glow in the dark texture. It looks like it might. Okay, so let's check mine, which I do believe I have the common because it looks exactly like the can, but we'll look at, obviously you guys will see the figures first, both Vampire Jack and Jack Skellington. So there is, yeah, so it's a white background because it is an OG can. So yeah, this is definitely the common, limited to one out of 16,700 pieces. And let's find out if I do have the chase or not due to the pog. Yeah. It is the chase, awesome. So on the front we have the black background and then the purple on the back which says, you found the chase, glow in the dark, vampire jack, one in 2,500. Onto Heat Miser and Snow Miser, awesome movie. These are gonna be awesome cans as well. Let's get them open. Okay, Thank you that. good luck. Three, two, one, boom. Oh. Baby! All right, let's look at Heat Miser first. That's I really crazy. love the translucent effect of the fiery hair there for the Heat Miser. Looks really awesome. Then obviously with mine, it's not only the legs, but the whole outfit. It is glitter oh, for that's, the that's chase. Sweet. That is sweet. I like how, because we thought it was just the legs that was glitter, but it's actually the jacket too, which I really like how bright blue that is there. We might as well check off the pogs yeah, right Yeah, I'll start now. with mine. So we have the white background for Heat Miser, and he is limited to 8,400 pieces. And we got the Snow Miser, which has the blue background. And then it is, you found the chase, Diamond Glitter Snow Miser, limited to one out of 1,600 pieces. All right, here we go. Hermie, and you got, what is it? Uh, Bumble. Bumble, Bumble, yes. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Common and common. Yeah, yours looks yeah. like a common too. Yeah, see, this is pretty. This is actually tiny. Holy crap! Compared to Bumble, which is huge. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, we got so. Hermie, and then you guys will be seeing the Bumble at some point on the 360 rotating spinners. And here we go. So we got the background here for Hermie, blue background, and it's limited to one out of 4,200 pieces. And then we have the background for Bumble, which is more of like a navy blue, and it is one in 5,000 pieces. Easy math when it is a 6,000 piece cam. All right, I got Rudolph. And I got Yukon Cornelius. Let's see if, uh, I'm kind of hoping for both of these to yeah, be chases. Yeah, that'd be kind of awesome. It's like the Boba Fett's, we got both of them being chases, so yeah, that'd be cool. It could happen both. again. Check it out. Three, two, one, boom, and common? Two commons. All right, we got <laughs> okay. common. So That's fine. Showing off Rudolph, obviously, and then we got ourselves the Yukon Cornelius. Yeah, which still and, looks wicked. And yeah, Yukon's wicked too, because I believe that in the show, his eyes basically look like the stylization of Funko Soda, so this just looks like a generic Yukon Cornelius figure, which is so cool. Awesome character. All right, and for the Pogs, white background for Rudolph, and it is one out of 12,500 pieces. And then for the Yukon Cornelius, we also have a white background, and he is limited to one out of 6,700 pieces. And the main event for this section, you have Chili Willy, which I do want to mention. I know that's technically not holiday-esque. It's more animation, but it does fit the theme. We yeah. need to have 10 for these categories. And then Pumpkin King Jack. Three, two, one, boom, common. common. <laughs> All right, we both got the common. We'll show off Chili Willy first. Still pretty cool looking, one of the OG Funko Soda cans that Funko made, so it was cool to add that to the video. And then Jack Skellington, Pumpkin King Jack, really cool with the head sculpt and the body mold also with this can. So the Pog for Chili Willy has the white background and it is limited to one in 8,400. And then we got the Jack Skellington Pumpkin King, 
which has the red background and it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. This next category of 10 Funko Soda figures is a mix of TV and movies we have here. So I guess I'll mention off the soda figures I'll be opening off. First off, we have ourselves Kong, which is limited to 12,500 pieces and the chase is flocked. Pogo from the Umbrella Academy, which is limited to 7,500 pieces, in which the chase is also flocked. We got Klaus from the Umbrella Academy, which we actually have two figures, which myself and MD will be opening up one each, limited to 10,000 pieces. And the chase version, I believe his eyes are closed and he doesn't have his glasses on and he has some sort of facial expression going on at the same time. Oompa Loompa from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, limited to 9,400 pieces. And the chase is Oompa Loompa holding a Wonka bar. And then for me, I have Jay from Jay and Silent Bob, the franchise, not from any specific movie, I suppose. And the chase is... Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. That is such a weird chase for that. Next up, we have Geralt from The Witcher, which is actually from the Netflix series, not the game. And it is limited to 8,000 pieces. And the chase, he has the, like, messed up face. Like, it's like scars and stuff, It's right? like, it's a weird, like, it turned, it's white and it's got some sort of, like, veiny effect near the eyes. Yeah, okay. It's and then we have Willy Wonka, which is obviously from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, limited to 10,000 pieces. And the chase, he has the golden ticket in his hand. And then lastly, to end off this category, we have Sloth from the Goonies, limited to 5,000 pieces for these international cans. And the chase, he has the pirate hat on all right kong and jay i feel like that's gonna be the next uh, if bob ever left from jay and silent <laughs> bob it's uh jay and silent kong <laughs> all right let's do this i would like to see that duo let us know in the comment section below do you want to see jay and silent kong i think i'd like to see that mash up there three two one looks like a common for me and for you I don't exactly it know. It looks very common-ish. So you guys it's will see. so tough to tell. All right, so we got both of the soda figures being shown off on the 360 rotating spin. And I'm looking at Kong right now. And that is really cool. And then uh, look at that detail on uh, Jay. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so on Jay's hat, you actually have the like Jesus meme where he's pointing as a button on his hat as well as like a bear that seems to be driving. And then really cool, he's got like the rocker fist out, which is sweet. Uh, let's see in the can if this is actually glow in the dark or not. Okay, so for Kong, white background it's a common one out of 10,500 pieces and then for jay we got the white background it is a common one out of 7,100 pieces all right up next i'm starting off the umbrella academy with pogo and i have Geralt from the witcher shaky room for good luck three two one boom looks like a common for mine looks like a common as well with all right sword. looking at pogo i do like the way that the common actually looks because i feel like with the chase it might look weird for the fur involved with Pogo, but with the common one, looks really nice. And with Geralt, yeah, Geralt's okay. I mean, I don't know a lot about this character. I've never seen the show. Haven't really played The Witcher, though I have seen some gameplay. But this is a solid-looking Funko Soda. And for the Pogs, obviously, white background, because it's a common for Pogo, and it's limited to 1 out of 6250. And then for the common pog, we have the blue background with Geralt there. I wonder if the chase actually does have the uh, difference on the face. And then on the back, it's actually red, which is kind of cool. One out of 6,700. We got Klaus right here. We're ready to open this up. Let's see how Klaus will we be on getting a chase. Come on, I better get a chase for that pun. Three, two, one. Boom, and, oh, they're both Zero. common. I thought for some reason got the chase. I thought so too. All right, so looking at the still pretty decent figure. They yeah. got really nice detail of like the stomach tattoos and then the tattoos on his hands with hello and goodbye. The hair's looking cool. So here's the pog right now, which is pretty decent with him and his eyes closed, which should be what the chase is like, but it is what it is. One out of 8,400 pieces. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We got Willy Wonka and I got the Oompa Loompa, so. That would be nuts if we got the chases for both of these. That would be super ideal. I mean, yeah. Three, two, one, boom. It is the common for mine. Because I don't <laughs> see the common a for mine, Wonka bar. Hey, these are awesome. You don't need the golden ticket. You don't need the Wonka bar. These are still awesome figures. Really cool detail involved with the 
Oompa Loompa. I really like the way they pulled off the hair here. And we might as well show off the pogs now for the Funko Soda figure, starting off with one So for Willy Wonka, you have the white background. On the back of the pog, you have Willy Wonka, one in 8,400. And for the Oompa Loompa white background, still cool art, and it's limited to one out of 7,900 pieces. Main event for this section, it's the Goonies. It's sloth. Will we say, hey, you guys, we got the chase <laughs> if we obtain the chase. So let's do this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Yeah, you let's got go. a chase. Let's go. But let's show off the common first with the Baby Ruth bar. Still really cool. You get to see the hair and the whole ensemble right there. But man, and then, yeah, the chase we have the pirate hat with the bandana on, which is awesome. The only thing missing from this figure, unfortunately, is that Superman logo on his shirt, but why have to pay two licensors for one figure? For the international, blue background for the common, and it is one out of 4,200 pieces. And then for the chase, we have the white background due to it being an international can, and it says you found the chase pirate sloth, one in 800 pieces. All right, so the next category we have is a second Disney category, but the majority of this is Pixar, so we're really gonna like this category. So first can I have here is Carl Fredrickson from Up, limited to 12,500 pieces, and common is old man, but the chase is younger Carl, which is, I love those chases where it's completely different from the common. Then I have Russell also from Up, which is limited to 12,500 pieces, and the chase he has like his scout book in his hands. We have the 2022 Wondrous Convention exclusive Hades from Hercules. This is the international can, so it's limited to 8,000 pieces, and the chase version is the red version, and I'm not sure if it's got a specification, but I know the outfit is more brown than it is black. And then I actually have two of the Sullies, which is limited to 10,000 pieces. Dylan also has one, and the chase is Flock. We got ourselves each a George Sanderson from Monsters, Inc., which is limited to 10,000 pieces, in which the chase version is him with the cone around his neck, and he's all shaven, which is amazing for a chase. Then I have the 2022 Winners Convention Yzma, which for some reason they have the like normal picture of her, but it is like a lab Yzma and the chase has the vial in the hand. And I have the D23 2022 exclusive Lab Kronk, which is an international can, limited to 8,000 pieces. And this also has the vial in its hand, but it's also glow in the dark for an added specification. Kicking off with a very great Pixar movie in Up. Boom, let's take this out. Will I get young Carl? That would be pretty crazy. Three, two, one. Old Carl. And common Russell. Okay, so we're gonna check out Carl first, which is really cool. I really like the detail with the head sculpt, and he's got the cane with the tennis balls underneath, and I really like the detail also of his left ear where he actually has the hearing aid. I think that's a really nice added attention to detail. And then we have Russell, he has all his scout stuff. He has the backpack, which is full of stuff. He also has the flag sticking out. And I kind of like the common a little bit better. I don't think he needs the book. I like how he's holding on to the straps of the backpack. So for the pogs for Carl's, obviously because it's actually a North American can, it has the white background and it's one out of 10,500 pieces. And then for the Russell, it is also a white background and is also 10,500 pieces. Okay, so I got Hades and I have the first Sully. Yeah, and we're each gonna open up a Sully eventually. So here we go, let's shake it up once MD's ready. Boom. Three, two, one, boom! Common. Common. All right, yeah. so looking at the Hades first, I really like the translucent effect involved with the hair. And it's funny enough, you could actually see like a square piece in there to actually like kind of make the oh. molding up <laughs> there. So I think that's pretty funny. Overall, it's still pretty cool for the common. Yeah, and then we have the Sully, pretty basic. I mean, he's got his hands down, but that's kind of how Sully is. This is really cool, but hopefully we do get a flocked version. The Hades Funko Soda Pod, blue background, and it is one out of 6,700 pieces. And then for this international can of Sully, we have the purple background, which I think looks sweet, and he is limited to one in 8,400. All right, two more Sullys. Boom, three, two, one, boom! Both the uh, common! Uh, uh, one I'm actually more excited about than Sully for some reason, just yeah. because we've been wanting a new George Sanderson Funko Pop, and the fact they made a new one in a soda form is just awesome. If we can get 50-50 on this, I don't care who gets what. 
three, two, one, boom! Both the common, and I love the detail <laughs> of the sock on the back of George Sanderson. It's still really cool though. I love the detail that it is in the soda. I, I kind of like the soda much better than the Funko Pop yeah, that they made. Yeah, I mean, that was an older pop for the Disney lineup, but yeah, the sock on the back is hilarious. I love how the fur on his body is also kind of tufted out because of the sock being on his back. All right, and the background is white, obviously, for the Pog, and it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. And last but not least, one of MD Shady's favorite Disney movies of all time, Emperor's New Groove. I got Lab Kronk. And I have Yzma for WonderCon, so let's see, maybe we can finally pull a chase, or both chases, they both have vials. Shaky Roo for good luck. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Chase! Let's, Let's go. go, baby! Let's go! So you got the common one, which has no vial for Yzma, which is still looking pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like that, though. It's cool to have Kronk with the vial and then having Yzma without it, because I do like the pose that she's in already for this. Kronk. And then we got Kronk, which, yes, it has the vial, and you can see the glow-in-the-dark paint application on the vial, which is going to be the glow-in-the-dark piece. Still really cool that they were able to not only add a piece, but also add a little bit of a specification to make it a little bit more special. So what's the piece count for your common Yzma? So we have the light blue background for the Pog and on the back it is one in 6,700 pieces so that's pretty neat. We got a white background for Kronk being the chase for an international can and it is you found the chase lab Kronk with potion one out of 1,300 pieces. Next category is animation which I'll mention this we got Spike Spiegel, the international can limited to 6,000 pieces, normally a box lunch exclusive in North America. And the Chase version has this like blue sketchy, like I can't really explain it that much, but it's a really cool colored Chase. Continuing on with anime, Kasuke Bakugo from My Hero Academia, international can of 8,500 pieces, and the Chase is just simply glow in the dark. Duck. Dodgers limited to 8,000 pieces, one of the original Funko Soda figures, and I believe the chase is metallic and the outfit is a green color instead of like the baby blue type color. I think he might common. also be in a different pose. And he might have a different weapon or has a weapon. Maybe, yeah, he has like a blaster, yeah. We got two Rick Sanchez figures, which this is interesting because we each have a international and North American can. So my can is 5,000 pieces and then MD's is actually 12,500 pieces with a different colorway, but both of them are obviously the same chase, which is Doofus Rick. I hope we pull that. I yeah, really which, am hoping It's for really that. funny too, but because we have a North American and an international, if we do get a common and a chase, both the pogs are going to be white. Yeah. So for me, obviously, I do have a Spike Spiegel, but I have the previews exclusive Goliath from Gargoyles limited to 12,500 pieces, and the chase is the stone variant. Then I also have Quick Draw McGraw, which is limited to 10,000 pieces, and the chase is Alkabong with the guitar. And then lastly, the main event for this section, we have International Cans of Popeye, limited to 4,500 pieces, and the chase, he has the white sailor outfit as well as the twisted up arm. All right, Spike Spiegel going up first. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Common. Oh, I was almost thinking it was the chase yeah. because of the blue outfit, yeah. but there is the figure. It's still pretty nice with the blaster in his hand there. Still nice, but it would have been awesome to get that blue chase. And the pog is yellow for the background, and it is limited to one out of 5,000 pieces. We have Goliath, and I have Kasuke Bakugo. All right, here we go. And boom! Yeah, yours is the common, common, and mine, it feels like a common, but I'll definitely check. We'll look at the figures. Obviously, figures are really nice, and I'm glad I didn't get the chase because I'm sick of the glow-in-the-dark chases for My Hero Academia. Let's see some new stuff, which we have been with the new ones that have been released. Yeah, and then I got the common for Goliath, and I don't mind because I already do have the chase version of the Funko Pop, so getting him in soda form in his natural form like that is pretty sweet. And the Pog for Kosuke Bakugo, nice orange background, one out of 7,100 pieces. And then for Goliath, we have the white background, and it is one out of 10,500. Duck Dodgers! And Quick Draw McGraw. All right, hopefully this time you actually get the chase of El Caban. Yeah, that'd be nice. Three, two, one, 
Boom! Common oh, and all, oh, you got the common also. Looking at Duck Dodgers, really cool looking figure with like the different styles of blue. Pretty cool. And then with the Quick Draw McCry, you were hoping for Al Caban, because that's the third one you've gotten now, I at believe. At least. And then the Pog for Duck Dodgers, we got a nice white background. It is one out of 6,700 pieces. And then for Quick Draw McGraw, we have the white background, and it is one in 8,400. Rick Sanchez, international and North American can. Yeah. Oh, come on. Doofus Rick. We need a Doofus Rick here. Shake it right up. Come on. Three, two, one. Da! Ah, it's the common for both. Still cool looking figure with the facial expression. He's got the portal blaster. Let's look at the international pog, which is a green background, and it's one out of 4,200 pieces. And then for the common for the North America can, white background and one out of 10,500. Last but not least, Popeye. Popeye. Let's see if we get one common yeah, and one I would really chase. love to see that to end this section off of animation. All right. Shake them up. Shake it up. Three, two, one, boom. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Common and Chase. So you guys will be seeing the Common with the can of spinach in his hand. He's wearing his normal outfit. He's got the pipe in his mouth. Really cool looking figure. And then who actually got the Chase? Yeah, I'm so happy because I only bought two of these. And this is one of my favorite soda cans of all time. I got the Chase with the white sailor outfit. He has the different hat and the twisted up arm, which is so sweet. Super excited about this. All right. So the Pog for the Common, because it's Aaron international is a red background and it's one out of 3750 and then the pog for the chase is the white background and it says you found the chase popeye with twisted arm one in 750 all right so the next section of funko sodas we are going to be opening up is all Marvel Funko sodas. So kicking off, we got two cans of the Captain America from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which the Chase version, I believe, is metallic, but I also forgot to mention this is limited to 10,000 pieces, and it is the International can. An El Venenoid from the Marvel Luchador lineup, limited to 15,000 pieces. Also a metallic Chase. We got Zombie Captain America from What If, limited to 12. 12,500 pieces and the chase is glow in the dark. Then we have the Iron Man which is limited to 20,000 pieces and the chase is unmasked with Tony Stark. We have the Spider-Man Japanese TV series and that is also limited to 20,000 pieces being a free comic book day previews exclusive and the chase is glow in the dark I believe. Yeah. Then we have Venom at 15,000 pieces and the chase has the tongue out. And last but not least, we have three figures of the Entertainment Earth exclusive 20,000 piece carnage with the chase being Cletus Cassidy. So we're going to kick off opening up the Captain America Funko Soda figures. So let's crack these open. Shake her up for good luck. Three, two, one. Boom! Both commons. Uh, yeah, I think they're both commons. Uh, they look exactly... Chase has the wings. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does. So we can double check on the can, but you guys will be looking at the figure right now. And, yeah, mine's definitely a common with the pog. And, yeah, it's got the red background, and it is limited to one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, next up, El Venenoid. And Iron Man. Three, two, one. Boom! And common. that is the common, <laughs> and this is definitely a common. I can definitely tell it's more glossy with the metallic chase of the El Venenoid. And then you guys will also be looking at a quick view of the Iron Man Funko Soda as it's on the 360 rotating spinner. And I might as well take out the Pog for El Venenoid, which has got the white background being the common. It is one out of 12,500 pieces. And then with the Iron Man, you have the white background and it is out of one in 16,700. Zombie Captain America. And the Japanese TV series, Spider-Man. Three, two, one. 
boom, we got the figures, and mine doesn't feel yeah, glow mine in the dark. Either. Wow, that has a lot of detail. Though. Yeah, the zombie Captain America, really detailed figure, and then we'll look at obviously the Japanese series Spider Man, also pretty decent. Love the design of the mask there. And then, yes, for Zombie Captain America, we have the white background for the POG, and then it says Zombie Captain America, one out of 10,500 pieces. And then with the Spider-Man Japanese TV series, we have the white background on the POG, and it is one out of 16,700. Kicking off with the set of Carnages, but you also have Venom, which is really cool to see Venom and Carnage be opened up right now. Little shaky roo. Three, two, one, Boom! Cletus Cassidy, baby! Let's go! Very nice. Let's go! And then we got the common Venom right there, <laughs> which is pretty decent. <laughs> We're gonna look at him because he seems to be doing some squats. Yeah, he, he's, he's thick. Yeah, and then we got Cletus Cassidy, the chase. That's awesome on the first can. I was hoping to actually get the Cletus Cassidy because I want both the common and the chase. So we'll look at the pog for the Venom right now on what the piece count is. So for the Venom, you have the white background and it is one out of 12,500. And then for Cletus Cassidy's pog, you got a nice black background background with the art form of Cletus Cassidy in the Carnage symbiote. You found the chase, Carnage Cletus Cassidy, one out of 3,300 pieces. And now we got two extra Carnages. Could they be two commons? Could they be two chases? Could it be a 50-50? All right, shake it up for good luck for possible double chases. We really want to get that number up for the chases yeah. uh, to beat out what we had last video, which I believe was 13. Three, two, one. Boom! We two got commons. some commons. The commons still looks yeah, great. This is, this is so I'm glad that it went the way that it went where we got two commons and we got a chase. That's what I was hoping for. And we will look at the pog now for here, which has got a nice white background with uh, obviously Carnage, which works out really nicely with the artwork. Carnage, one out of 16,700 pieces. So this next section is actually the most Funko sodas we're gonna be doing for a section. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. 13 soda figures for what we call Black Light Madness. Every single can we're gonna open up right now for the section, all black light Funko sodas. Starting off, we do have some Alice in Wonderland stuff. So we both each have a Queen of Hearts Funko Shop exclusive, limited to 10,000 pieces for mine, but he does have the international can, which is limited to 5,000. And I guess all of these black light figures are all just a different colorway. Mad Hatter limited to 10,000 pieces and it's not international. And then I have the Alice, which is limited to 10,000 pieces. This is also not international. And this is really cool. The chase is blue and yellow and I really want that chase out of basically any of these sodas in this category. We got Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland limited to 10,000 pieces once again and I love the colorway with the chase because it's basically watermelon. It's yeah. pink and green. And then that's what we have for Alice in Wonderland. Moving on we also have the Wanderers Convention 2022 exclusive for the banana splits. Starting off with mine at 5,000 pieces we have Flegel and he's yellow in this but I believe the chase is just a different color variant. I can't remember the colors. Then we each have a Snorky also limited to 5,000 pieces. So this is cool. I think this one is green if I remember properly. And then lastly for the banana splits, I have Drooper, which is of course 5,000 pieces and DK has Bingo, I believe. Yes, I have Bingo. And I think out of the banana splits chases, that I feel the Bingo's is the best because I think it's a orange like main color for yeah, it. And I think, I think the colors involved are just insane. If we pull the chase, you guys will definitely see how wicked that looks. And then to end it off for me, we have two of the Hot Topic exclusive Jack Skellingtons, which are limited to 12,500. This is a really cool black light soda because it's also a new mold for Jack Skellington. He has like the snake going through his 
eye and like through his skull so that's really cool it's not just your generic jack skellington and the chase is a different color variation and then technically the last one that ends it off which makes it kind of like odd numbers but i'll be opening it since i do own this one that is the international can of the black light mayor from nightmare before christmas limited to eight thousand pieces and i remember if i'm not mistaken the colorway is blue for the skin as terms to the chase figure we might as well kick off with i believe the queen of hearts yep. because we have each of these mine's international and yours is north Americans. Americans. First time ever opening up a black white soda as well, so this should be fun. Alrighty, here we go. So three, two, one, boom. You got oh, the chase. Oh yeah, there nice. we go. We got the chase. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we're obviously gonna show off the common first where it's mainly green. The crown is orange, and I like the color involved with the dress there. Yeah, I mean that's looking pretty sweet. And then we have the chase here, which is pretty crazy. Orange skin. Got the blue crown, and I mean, it's a decent colorway here. So we have the black background, which is kind of different for a common, but maybe that's just how they do it with the black light sodas. I don't know, I've never opened one up. And it is limited to 8,400 pieces. And then we got the chase background here for an international can. It's got the yellow skin right here. And then this is, you found the chase, Queen of Hearts black light variant, one out of 800 pieces, which is pretty low. Moving on next, I have Alice and DK has the Mad Hatter. This is the one that I really want the chase of. Three, two, one, boom. No, it's the orange one. Yeah, that this actually is the orange is crazy. Hat. Look at how cool those look. Wow. Yeah, I can only imagine taking the black light to it and seeing how it actually looks, especially with orange. And I know how nice orange is when you take a black light to yeah. it. Yeah. So those are really cool. Matt Hatter's not really standing up properly as we're trying to, but you'll see the 360 rotating spins of what it looks like. And as terms to the pogs, nice black background. And then Mad Hatter is one out of 8,400 pieces. And then, of course, with the black light sodas, we have that black background. And Alice is, again, one out of 8,400 pieces. Okay. So to finish off the Alice in Wonderland, we have the Shreshire Cat. And it would be awesome if we could finish it on a chase because my sodas so far for these uh, Alice in Wonderland ones haven't been black light. And then we are starting the banana splits with the Flegel to start. So let's see some good stuff from these. Uh, three, two, one, boom. Okay, so this is Two the commons. commons. Yeah. yeah. So Sheshire Cat they still match. looks Yeah, <laughs> they kind of do match. They're a tag team right there. Yeah. Uh, Sheshire Cat looking pretty cool with those colors. And then we even got Flegal, which the yellow does look really nice yeah, on the it, common it one compared to whatever the color is that I can't remember what it is for the chase figure. But for Sheshire Cat's Pog, nice black background with the yellow and blue skin. And then it says Sheshire Cat on the back, one out of 8,400 pieces. And then we have Flegal. Of course, we have that black background and one out of 4,200 pieces. We got our Snorkies. Yeah, let's hope that there's a common and a chase here. All right, That's just gonna make ideal. sure does the sticker. Okay, yeah, stickers yeah. inside, sweet. All right, here All we right. go. Three, two, one, bam! Two, two blues, blues. <laughs> so that is the common, but it's still a really nice yeah, blue. I can only imagine sweet. how it looks with a black light. I know I keep mentioning about that, but blue is a really nice color when it's black light. I yeah, realize. honestly, with these banana split sodas, I'm just thankful that I'm even getting to open them up. Background being black, it's got the blue skin, and then on the back of the pog, it is one out of 4,200 pieces. We're ending it off with the last set of banana splits. I got bingo, and you have the Drew first Drew and only Drooper. Yeah. They haven't even made a normal Drooper yet. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. This is the regular, and is that the, okay, that is yeah, the regular. Yeah, this is also the regular. Alrighty. These are so bright, though. That's yeah, crazy. That's, yeah, the colorway of Bingo looks awesome with the abundance of colors, and Drooper Definitely. looks pretty sweet also, showing it on the 360 rotating spinner. And it doesn't matter who goes for the pod. So, so we got, of course, that black background and Drooper at... 4,200 pieces. And we got the bingo with the black background and it is the same piece count of one out of 4,200 pieces. And I guess last but not least, with both of us opening Funko Soda's figures for this section, it is the Hot Topic exclusive, Jack Skellington with snakes. Shake it up. Three, two, one, boom. Two comments. comments. <laughs> All right, but still looking at the yeah. figure, 
that's pretty sweet. I like the way that the snake, I bet you like this is gonna look awesome when you take a black light to it. Like, Definitely. Just with the way the orange is and then yellow. Looking at the pog because it's obviously a common so we don't have to look at it twice. Black background with a nice little art form of Jack Skellington with the snake on his head and the rarity is one out of 10,500 pieces. And then the odd Funko Soda out here is the black light mayor. Wanna shake it up? Give me some good luck. Or sure. How about, how about I take a look inside the can and I won't give any reaction to that. I don't know. There. All right, I guess he's gonna know what's inside the can, whether I have the common or the chase. Three, two, one. Is it blue faced? It is, yeah! I got a chase! Let's go, let's go, that is sick. These colors are great. Yeah, that is definitely the chase. Even we don't have to look at the pod, but we're still gonna look at the yeah, pod so anyways. Yeah, so when I first looked inside the can and looked at the pod, the background is always black for these black lights. So I had to flip it over, even though it does show the illustration of the blue face on there. And it says, you found the chase. Mayor scared and it's one out of 1300 pieces. Awesome chase. So the next section is actually our least amount of sodas we're gonna be opening up in a section. And that is DC Comics, which shout out to yeah boy because I know that you like Funko Sodas and DC. All right, so starting off with my first, I have a international can for 2021 Fall Convention Poison Ivy Limited to 8,500 and the chase is a glitter chase. First one I'm gonna be opening up is the recently released 2022 Summer Convention exclusive Larflees from Green Lantern International Can Limited to 10,000 pieces and the chase is glowing in the dark and it's holding some sort of object. Then I have a Aquaman Limited to 12,500 pieces and the chase is metallic. I have here an international can of Green Lantern limited to 10,000 pieces and the chase is White Lantern. Next up, I have the Batmite, which is limited to 10,000 pieces, and the chase, I believe, is a black suit. I have Godspeed from The Flash, which is limited to 6,000 pieces. This is the international can, normally a GameStop exclusive in North America, and the chase is glow in the dark. And then for the last can, we each have a international can of the Funko Shop exclusive Batman Beyond, which is limited to 8,500 pieces, where the chase is glow in the dark and is prominently red. All right, let's kick off with convention exclusive DC Funko Soda figures. Let's see if we both get a chase, we both get commons, or it's one of each. Shake her up. Three, two, one, boom, and... Mine's a common. Common as well. Alrighty, so we'll take a 360 rotating spin of each of the cans. We'll show off. You guys will be seeing Larflees first. It's actually pretty decent in person. I like the translucent flame once again. I really like the sodas with their translucent flame effect. Yeah, and the outfit's pretty decent. And Poison Ivy looks pretty decent also with her outfit. Yeah, definitely a little disappointed on this one. Wanted the chase, but... This is still a pretty cool looking figure. I love Poison Ivy. We got Larflees' Pog, which I really enjoy with the colors of the blue background going along with the flames. And then it is one out of 8,400 pieces. And then we have the green background for Poison Ivy and is one out of 7,100 pieces. All right, I got Green Lantern. And I got Aquaman. This is gonna be sweet. Three, two, one. Boom, common. <laughs> All right, more commons. Green Lantern, pretty decent. I feel like they should have done some sort of other posing for Green Lantern, but nonetheless, this is still pretty decent. And then Aquaman. Aquaman's looking sweet. I definitely like that uh, trident, I guess, as his weapon of choice. Yeah, this is an awesome figure. Loving the green background for Green Lantern. And it is, once again, because it's 10,000 pieces, it's one out of 8,400 pieces. And then for the common Aquaman, we have that white background and it is one out of 10,500. All right, Godspeed. And Batmite. All righty, let's see how this goes. Shaky Roo. Three, two, one, bam. Chase. Yeah, nice, there we go. So for my figure, I can't really tell at the moment. I think it's a common, but we'll have to look at the pod to officially confirm that, but it's still pretty decent. It's better than what I thought it was going to be when looking at glam shots. And then we have the Batmite, and this is really cool. I like how we got the chase, which is more of your uh, 
more modern Batman black and gray color scheme. This definitely is the common because of the yellow background being an international can, and it is one out of 5,000 pieces. And then we have the Batmite Pog with the black background. I wish they would have went with yellow. I think it would have made it pop a little bit more. And on the back, you found the Chase alternate suit Batmite, one out of 1,600. Last but not least, Batman Beyond. I don't think I've been so hyped for a soda yeah. uh, for in quite a while than Batman Beyond. Alrighty, so here we go. All right, three, two, one, bam! Oh, Chase, <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Nice. Got the chase! Yeah, I'm pumped about that. We're looking at the common right now, and it's still a cool looking figure, regular, Batman Beyond, and then the glow in the dark chase. I love the color scheme and how that looks, even not glow in the dark. Yeah, I mean, both of these are sweet. I don't even know which one I like better because they both are just sweet figures. This is awesome. So for the common pog, we have that red background, Batman Beyond one out of 7,100. And for the chase's pog, I really enjoyed the white background with kind of like the little shadow that's going around that's a little bit orangey. Yeah, like so radiating the glow. Yeah, and then on the back, you found the chase glowing Batman Beyond one out of 1,400 pieces. All right, so this is actually gonna be the second last section of Funko Soda figures. We have 10 of them here, back to that even number that we're normally doing these in. And these are from TV shows that we collect a lot of pops from. Starting off, we have Homer. Finally get to open the Homer. I collect a ton of Simpsons pops, so super happy about this. This is an international can, limited to 7,500. And the chase, he is holding the Stein of beer, presumably Duff beer. I have two Stranger Things sodas. First, I have 11, which is limited to 12,500. Should have been 11,000 pieces. Don't know what they were thinking. And the chase is with the blonde wig on. Then I have an international can of Dustin limited to 10,000 pieces. And the chase, he has the Hellfire Club t-shirt as well as a walkie talkie in his hand. Then we each have an international can of Dwight Schrute from the office limited to 8,000 pieces. And the chase is the pumpkin head. And I have two of the Entertainment Earth exclusive Creed Bratton Funko sodas limited to 12,500 pieces. And the chase is Bloody Creed, just like the specialty series exclusive pop, which I hope I get one of each. And then to end it off, we have two Michael Scott's limited to 12,500. And the chase is Prison Mike. All right, first figure. Dope! Oh! Gotta open up Homer Simpson. Who's gonna get a donut? And who's gonna get some duck beer? Three, two, one. There we go. Oh! <laughs> we both got the common, but it's yeah. still looking really cool. I really like the detail of obviously Homer's hair and then even the like five o'clock shadow beard that he's got going on there. Really nice Funko soda. Yeah, these are great. I'm a little disappointed, no chase, but I'll just have to keep hunting because I definitely need to get my hands on it. So then the Pog has the pink background, which looks awesome with Homer's yellow skin. And then on the back of the Pog, it says Homer Simpson, one out of 6,250 pieces. All right, I'm gonna open up my first Creed Bratton and you're gonna open up your first Stranger Things soda. Yep, with 11. So let's see what we get. The Common and the Chase are both pretty cool. Three, two, one, bam! Common. Common as well. All righty, so we'll look at the 11 soda, which is really detailed with like the scuffing around. Yeah, I mean, she's got like the dirty face, which is crazy, the nosebleed, of course, the Ego in one hand and the box of Egos in the other hand, which has so much detail for being such a small little piece. And then we got Creed Bratton, which even though it's not the chase, still pretty cool. Loving the hair that's on him and the posing too. That is great. And then we have the Pog with Eleven, who is looking like Natalie Portman on the Pog for some reason. And then on the back, one out of 10,500. And then Creed Bratton, white background with his smug little face, one out of 10,500. Second Creed, hopefully and it's a chase. Dustin. Yeah, here we go. Do we both get chases at this point? That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, boom! Yeah, I got the chase! So did I. Yeah! <laughs> let's go! Awesome. Mm. Start off with the Dustin. Uh, let's talk about yeah, that Yeah, I mean, we just talked about this about last week, but uh, this is sweet, the Hellfire Club. The detail on that shirt looks awesome. 
Then you have the walkie-talkie, which is a huge part of Dustin's character. So overall, this is sweet. Super happy to pull the chase. Yeah, and here is the bloody Creed Bratton, which pretty decent amount of blood. Like, it's not like the awkward, like, paint application of blood that they do a lot on both soda figures and pops it actually looks like it's splattered with blood and there's even some on the back which i did not realize and so for the pogs we have the dustin pog with the white background and i love this art style of dustin on the pog and on the back you found the chase dustin with walkie talkie one out of 1600 pieces and for bloody creed bratton purple background with some blood on the face and it says, you found the chase, Bloody Creed, one out of 2,000 pieces. All right, time for my favorite character of all time in The Office. It's Dwight Schrute. Three, two, one, bam, both to the common. Oh, this is sweet though. Wow, yeah, this Dwight looks awesome. I would say this is definitely a lot better than the mystery minis, which we have definitely opened up before. Uh, just a little bit more detail with a bit of a bigger figure. A nice kind of like weird blue background. I don't know what to call that color to go with this Dwight. It kind of matches the eyes there also for the pod. And then it is one out of 6,700 pieces. All right, now let's end it off with a bang with the Michael Scott. We're really hoping that one of these or both oh, are man. chases because oh. Prison Mike, such a cool persona. So let's see it happen. If we don't get the chase, we're gonna be eating gruel sandwiches, gruel omelets. Everything is gruel when you don't get the chase. Come on out. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Boom! Ah. God, gruel sandwiches for the rest of my life because we did not pull the chase, but it's still cool that we got the common world's best boss mug. Yeah, really this is sweet. an awesome figure. They even went to the length of putting the uh, brown coffee color inside the mug, which they definitely didn't have to do, so that's an awesome touch of detail. All right, so we got the white background for the pog, and then it is one out of 10,500 pieces. All right, so we are now at what we're considering the main event of this 130 plus Funko Soda can cracking opening. We had cool DC, we had cool Marvel, we even had 13 black light sodas. How do we top that off for the main event? And there's only one way we gotta do it. Both existing six pack Funko Soda figures. So I'll show off the first one here. We can't do a 360 rotating spin on the lounge fly coolers, but here is the black light Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Funko Soda six pack. And then right here we have the Scooby-Doo Funko Soda six pack, which this is crazy. We know with these six packs that we are guaranteed one chase and the rest are commons. It's just a matter of which of these is the chase because it is at random. So I think, do we open up Scooby or do we do TMNT first? I'm thinking TMNT because yeah, it's it something we've kind of seen and then we'll end it off on new soda figures as in yeah. the Scooby-Doo. First off, we have the Leonardo, and all of these are limited to 10,000 pieces. That's what these bags are limited to. And this is pretty cool. These black light ones are awesome. And the chase, I believe, is blue. Is it their Yeah, so the color? turtles we'll mention are the reverse colors. So yeah. whatever the color of the mask that they're wearing is, that's going to be their main skin color. Yes. And that'll be the same thing for Michelangelo we have next which is pretty sweet. I like how in the common he has the pink uh, nunchucks. That looks pretty cool. Then we have Raphael, which is also awesome. Donatello, also limited to 10,000 pieces. And then we have two villains with the Rocksteady, which is uh, purple, and then the chase, I believe, is blue. No, it's yellow. yellow. Oh, yeah, it is yellow, yes. And then we have Bebop, and the chase for this one is orange. Orange. It's yes. The, I remember this one because it was almost too similar to the chase of the original Bebop. I'm really hoping with these sodas that none of the four turtles are the chase. I want it to be one of the villain, one of the villains. Uh, hopefully Bebop. I really do want that so Bebop you, chase. So you want to see the Bebop chase? Mm -hmm. I honestly want to see, it is one of the turtles, which I know you don't want, but I really like the colorway of Raphael. I think the red as the main color really pops out well. We're gonna actually choose right in front of you guys what we want to see. So obviously it's your cases. You get to choose first of what yeah. you're gonna Yeah, all right, so up. I'm gonna go with my boy, Leo. Favorite turtle, so gotta choose him. I gotta go with my favorite, the pizza eating Michelangelo. And then I'm actually going to switch it up and not choose a turtle, going with that Bebop that I wanna see the chase of. 
I'm unfortunately not going to switch it up because I'm going with the one I want to see the chase the most, Raphael. And then I'm going to go with my purple boy, Donnie. All right. And that leaves you with Rocksteady. Another purple boy for the comp. So now I don't know exactly what you want to open up first because you really want to see the chase unless that's how we do it. We want to open up last what we want to see the chase of. Or do we want to do it villains at the end, turtles at the beginning, or vice uh, versa? Let's just do villains at the end. All right, villains at the end, and I'm gonna choose Mikey first because I wanna leave the anticipation right. for the chase that I want. So it's looking like, all right, the Fade Turtles Finally, are kicking are off. opened up. Yeah, all right, here we go. Which one of these, comment below what the chase is or what you think the chase is before we reveal what it is. So here we go, let's shake it up. Is it one of the turtles? Could it be right off the bat? This is could one be. of the chases. It could, it could be. Well be. Three, two, one. Boom! Two commons. All awesome. right, so sweet. I like how that orange pops off. Yeah, that's crazy. These look so sweet. My only gripe with Michelangelo, I don't know if you agree with this, shouldn't be holding a slice of pizza. Yeah, but they all have their weapons, so it would be weird if they had their weapons and then he just had the pizza in his hand. Well, at least maybe for the chase, they could have had the slice of pizza, maybe. That would have been cool. You want to show off the pog for yours first? Yeah, sure. So we have, of course, that black background for the black light sodas. Leonardo won out of 8,400 pieces. And then we got Michelangelo eating a slice of pizza in the pog, which I'm fine with that instead of having with the figure. And then we got Michelangelo one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, next up we got Donatello and Raphael. All right, so Raph is the one that I want to see the chase for the most out of this entire set. All right, shake it up. Put that soda figure down. Three, two, one, boom! Yes! There we go, baby! Raphael Chase! All right, we're gonna look at Donnie first because it is the common. Yeah, here's Donnie. He's a, a little dusty, actually. Uh, yeah, these are awesome. I'm loving these black lights. Can't wait to see what they look like with the black light on them. And here it is. Red Raphael with the green mask. Colorway looks great. Yeah, I mean, I can't really be mad because that colorway definitely does look good. And I do like the comments for the villains. So I'm not really mad that we're most likely getting stuck with them unless there's an error case here somehow. So then for the common Donatello, of course, it is one out of 8,400 with that black background. And Donnie's given a little wink on the art style. And we got the red Raphael, which looks great in art form, actually, also for the front of the pog. And on the back, you found the chase. Raphael Blacklight variant, one out of 1,600 pieces. And then to end off this bag, we have Bebop and Rocksteady. So these should technically be commons because you're only guaranteed one and you're really only supposed to get one. Three, two, one, boom, purple. Looks really nice on yeah, good old Rocksteady. Awesome. I love the purple on that with the yellow. That looks sweet. And then Bebop, I mean, yeah, with the pink looks really cool. I mean, he is like a hog, so it's cool that he is pink. And there's a lot of colors on both of these sodas, so they're definitely going to look awesome under the black light. All right, so for the Pog for Rocksteady, we obviously have the black background with the nice artwork, and it is one out of 8,400 pieces like the entire set of commons because it's 10,000 pieces. And then we got the Bebop Pog with that black background and again, one out of 8,400. And now the main event, I guess that was like the pre-main event with that bag, but this is the last item with this six pack of the Scooby-Doo. So let's open this up and take a look at the different soda cans and have a 360 rotator on the cans themselves. Starting off with the Scooby-Doo can and the chase is the scooby Dum. Then we have Shaggy and the Chase, he has the Scooby Snacks. Next up we have the Creeper with the Glow Chase. Then we have Ghost Clown and the Chase for this is like a purple colorway. We have Snow Ghost and the Chase for this is Flocked. And then lastly we have Phantom Shadow and the Chase for this is Red. I don't know if it's glow in the dark or not and it's also in a bit of a different pose, I believe. And with these, if we're gonna predict like what one like we wanna see or what we think it's going to be, I really wanna see the Phantom Shadow Chase in person because I really like that colorway compared to the original one. And I really hope we don't see a Scooby-Doo Chase because 
then it's Scooby Dumb, a completely different character. Not gonna agree with that. <laughs> I actually do want to see the Scooby Doo as the chase. I also really do like the Snow Ghost as the flocked one. I think that would be cool as well. But I wouldn't be upset if we got the chase for the Scooby Doo. Then you get a brand new character in the Funko Soda form, and I could just go out and buy a common Scooby Doo. Do the same way. It's it was his six pack, so he gets to choose what one he gets to open. And you know what? I might as well just go with Scooby Doo because that's who I want to see. Phantom Shadow. Awesome, then I will go Shaggy, why not? Ghost Clown. So then I will go with the Snow Ghost, which leaves with the Creeper for myself. So, I mean, I got all villains. You got one villain and the two main heroes, I guess you could say, of Scooby-Doo. I think we should switch it up this time and I think we should do the cans that we want to see as the chase first. Oh, okay, so. That means I'm kicking off with Phantom Shadow right and away. I'm kicking off with Scoobs. Three, two, one, bam! Scooby oh! Doo! Let's, Let's look at the Phantom Shadow first. It is the common. He's got the handcuff, I guess you can say, around the wrist there. And then he's got the facial expression, not too bad. But then we got Scooby, er, yeah, Scooby Dumb. Yeah, Scooby Dumb, this is awesome. He's got the red hat with his ears pointing out. And uh, he's looking a little derpy for sure. This is awesome, so excited to actually get the one that I wanted to be the chase, especially when you're buying a six pack that wasn't cheap. We got the pod for Phantom Shadow, white background, and it is one out of 8,400 pieces. And then the pog for the Scooby-Doo chase with scooby Dumb has this teal background, which I definitely like. And then on the back, you have the yellow writing. You found the chase. scooby Dumb one out of 1,600 pieces. All right, going with the creeper. And I got Shaggy. So let's see what these commons most likely are going to look like. You never know. It could be an error. Could be. Three, two, one, Bam! It's looking very commonish to me. Definitely looking pretty commonish. We'll start off with the Shaggy. This looks sweet. I mean, there's this just impersonates Shaggy perfectly. I love the way that the hands are kind of to his sides, but he's a little bit hunched over. Really cool soda figure. I think they did a great job with this one. And then we got the Creeper here, and this looks really awesome too. I mean, I wouldn't mind a glow-in-the-dark chase because green is a great color glow-in-the-dark. But overall, the figure looks great, especially with the facial expression of the character. And then we have the Shaggy Pog, white background, and of course, limited to one out of 8,400. And then we got the Pog here for the Creeper, which kind of looks like Shaggy a little bit in a way, but with darker hair, if we kind of compare that. And then we got the back here with the Creeper, one out of 8,400 pieces. All right, last but not least. The last cans of the night. Ghost Clown and Snow Ghost. All right, shake it up. Come on, flock. Let's see one more chase. How awesome would that be? Three, two, one, bam. That looks like a normal colorway to me. Yeah, this ain't feeling fuzzy. Yeah, so. and Ghost Clown is pretty decent. Love the posing, yeah. love the colors. Facial expressions on point. And then we have the Snow Ghost, which is a pretty cool figure, but I do think that the chase is a lot better and really makes this figure what it should be. And looking at the Pogs one last time for this video, we got a nice white background with the art form of the Ghost Clown, and it is one out of 8,400 pieces. And then we have the Snow Ghost white background, one out of 8,400 pieces. And I really like the colorway that they went with, with the yellow and light blue. All right, so that is all of the Funko Soda figures we have opened up. And we wanted to show you guys exactly uh, how many chases we ended up getting and recapping what chases we had gotten. So I guess kicking off here down below, we got ourselves first the Lucky Charms, Lucky the Leprechaun, which is the bowl of cereal chase. Then we got ourselves the Master Chief, which was the all black chase with a little bit of metallic effect. The Winnie the Pooh, which was a flock chase. The Boba Fett retro chase, that was the glow in the dark chase. We have regular Boba Fett, that was the prototype chase. Vampire Jack, which is a glow in the dark chase. We got Snow Miser, which was a glitter chase. Sloth, which is the pirate hat chase. Lab Kronk, which is a glow in the dark with vile chase. Popeye with the twirly arm and the sailor outfit chase. 
Cletus Cassidy is the chase for Carnage. We got the Black Light Queen of Hearts with the orange colorway, I believe it was. The Black Light Mayor, which had the blue colorway, and it was a sad face for the chase. Batmite with the black outfit. Batman Beyond with the nice red glow in the dark outfit. The Bloody Creed Bratton from The Office. Dustin from Stranger Things with the Hellfire Club t-shirt along with the walkie talkie. We have the Blacklight TMNT Raphael with the red main color chase. And last but not least, Scooby Dumb for the six pack of Scooby Doo sodas. Yeah, like this is awesome. 19 chases is pretty good, I would say, honestly, considering we could have ended up with only two chases with the two guaranteed that you get from each of the bags. And I do think that it is pretty funny that we each got uh, the chase that we wanted from those two bags. I think that that's pretty funny, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. And if you enjoyed this long-awaited, anticipated 130-plus soda unboxing, Make sure you smash that like button, comment in the comment section below, and let us know what was your favorite Funko Soda that we had opened up. And as said in the little intro, make sure you press the subscribe button for more content like this video in the future, and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and hope to see you guys next time. One, two, three, I'm out of here. Peace in, peace out. Follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at a Funko Podcast. If you want to check out some of our other content that's featured on our channel, you can click either the playlist that's on your screen right now featuring previous episodes of our weekly podcast, A Funko Podcast, or we have suggested a video for you guys in relation to today's video.